Today I am here to talk a little bit about uh, the brain tumor comprehensive center that we have here in Fortis uh, Banergata Road where we treat all patients who have been diagnosed with a brain tumor and uh, we have a comprehensive setup here starting from the patient assessment to the way the diagnostic pathways uh, flow with MR and CT scan followed by a comprehensive plan for the management. Most of these uh, tumors of the brain, depending upon the age of the patient, would either be benign or malignant. So we have to make a very specific plan of action for the management of these formidable tumors. So this calls for high-end technology, both for diagnostics as well as in treatment aspect, which we are fortunately having at this hospital. So we need uh, high-end diagnostics such as MRI, PET-CT, CT scan, DSA, that is digital subtraction angiogram of the brain, etc., in order to make a pinpoint and accurate diagnosis of the brain tumor. Generally, these patients will come with various symptoms related to the brain, which may include headache, vomiting, seizures, and unconscious episodes, and even visual symptoms or other focal neurological symptoms. Once we suspect that the patient may be having a brain tumor, these patients will undergo these sequential uh, radiological investigations which will help us to formulate the plan. Most often, these patients initially will need to undergo some form of surgery in order to remove the tumor and also to achieve a proper diagnosis. Most often, if it is a benign tumor, surgery will be curative and for making the surgery safe, we need really high-end, state-of-the-art equipment, which in Fortis we have in the form of a 3D operating Zeiss Pentaro microscope, which is possibly the best of the technology available to date. And because of such high-end instrumentation, there is also the neuro-navigation facility which is available for microsurgery. And all this high-end equipment will make the surgery very safe we do neuro monitoring under anesthesia and many times some of these patients will undergo what is known as awake craniotomy too. So once the surgery is performed safely, the post-operative management is in the neurosurgical ICU. Once the neuropathology report comes in, the patient will then have a final and definitive diagnosis of the type of uh, pathology that the patient has. So it falls into two broad categories, either it will be benign tumor, in which case surgery is the definitive and curative treatment. If the patient unfortunately has had a malignant brain tumor, then depending upon the type of pathology, adjuvant therapy would be needed. So herein comes in, again in our place we have a comprehensive neuro-oncology services wherein chemotherapy and radiotherapy, radiation therapy are both offered in a state-of-the-art new facility which we have developed since the last few months. Here the patients will be under the care of the neuro-oncologist and the neuro-radiation uh, oncologist. So based on the pathology, additional treatment would be completed in the subsequent few weeks during which time patient also receives comprehensive all-round care including neuro-rehabilitation services. So, technology does play a very important role in order to get our patients back to their feet and to their functional normal self. At the same time, expertise and experience also plays a very important role and we are proud at Fortis to say that we have all these components here in order to give the best service to our patients.